Hi y'all, it's Andrea over at Sewspire. I hope you're having an awesome day. I wanted to give you a little preview of Friday's sewing project. We are going to be focused on clutches for the month of October here at Sewspire. I will have four new tutorials for you, all of them darling little clutches. This is our first clutch. It is a very simple yet classic fold over clutch. We will craft a custom button for that. And you just close that with this wrap around tie here, which is attached to the top of the clutch. This is a faux leather. And then the interior is a gorgeous quilt weight cotton. And it's just perfect for fall. I love carrying these little clutches to holiday gatherings because they're small enough that you can walk around with it, but secure enough that if you wanted to set it down and go get some food or something, um, you could leave your phone and keys and such on the table without any problems. So I hope you'll join me at 12 noon Eastern time on the Sewspire YouTube channel and I will teach you step by step how to sew this sweet clutch. See you there. Okay, so for this project, you are going to need some faux leather. You could substitute that with uh, your choice of vinyl or real leather. You're going to need some quilt weight cotton, some heavy duty thread. I like the Coats and Clark button craft thread. You're going to need a one and a half inch button here which we are going to cover and that kit comes with a little two-piece set to create that button and that's what this little square here is for. And then you are going to need a one and a half inch by sixteen and a half inch strip of the quilt weight cotton fabric. So I am working today on a Juki 2000 QI and it sews through the faux leather beautifully. So I'm going to take my faux leather which measures 9 by 18 and it is not backed with anything and I'm going to position that right sides facing so that I have a nine by nine inch piece of material here, which I'm going to use a three eighths inch seam allowance and stitch down both short sides. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim up this seam allowance to a quarter inch. And then I'm going to turn this right side out. It's a gorgeous chestnut color. And so this will be the exterior of my clutch. Now I am going to take the like size piece of quilt weight cotton, which is 9 by 18 and backed with Decoville white and I'm going to fold that right sides facing so that I have a 9 by 9 square. Same thing using 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. I'm going to stitch down the right and the left hand sides. And then I'm going to trim that up to a quarter inch. And this one will remain wrong side out. I'm going to fold over that top edge a half an inch. The Decoville light press is very nice just with your fingers. It's a fusible interfacing for those of you that aren't familiar and it lends itself to a leather like finish to the fabric. And it is this Decoville light that is going to give my clutch its structure. Now the next thing I want to do is to craft my little tie which is going to wrap around 
my button closure here. So this needs to be very skinny and lightweight. So I have taken a one and a half inch strip of that cotton quilt weight material. I have pressed that in half long ways. I have folded over one of the short edges a quarter inch and then I've brought those outer edges inward to meet on that center press line and then I press that over again to create a long skinny strap that has one end that is finished. Now I want to stitch down that open edge first and then I'm going to have a look and see if I really need to stitch across the opposite edge or not. This is a pretty skinny strap. So before I can go any further, I need to go ahead and craft my custom button here. So this is a one and a half inch blank button, which you can find at your local fabric or craft shop. And then again, I have my two and a half inch square, which I have backed with the Pellon 808. And so I'm going to use the little tray here and I'm going to center that fabric square on that tray and it's translucent. So you can see uh, what will show up on your button there. So I take my button and I put it dome side down and I just want to push that into this little clear cup and that's really pretty. That turned out so gorgeous. I love making these buttons. Now you may be able to fit the remaining material inside of your button there. I like to trim mine up just a little bit. So I open up those edges here and just primarily take off those pointy corners. You don't want to take off too much, but if you can minimize that bulk just a little bit so it looks more like this, that's ideal. Then go ahead and push all that excess down into that dome. And then your cap has the little shank on the back of it and that's how you will attach this button to your clutch. So you can position that right inside of there. And then this blue cap here is what you use to plunge that shank into the button and you can do this with your hand. It shouldn't take too much strength and you just move around that and give that a good press with your thumbs and then check and make sure that that's situated nice and even in there. And now you have a sweet custom button. These are just so fun to make. All right, so I want to attach my button to the lower quadrant of this clutch near the base, right at center. And so I'm gonna roughly get the positioning by folding my clutch over. And it is pretty important that this be at center. So my clutch right now is eight inches wide. So I'm going to center this button at four inches and I'm gonna come up one inch from the bottom of this. So that's gonna be right about there. So from the shank on these buttons, it's gonna be up one and a half inches at center. So I'm gonna take a generous cut of my button craft thread here. If you are not familiar, the button craft thread is nice and thick. It's very easy to thread the needle. And I like to double that over. And I'm going to come in from the underside 
of my leather here and remember I'm coming in at center one and a half inches up and I'm just going to poke that needle right through that faux leather and I'm going to leave a long tail on the inside there and I want to come through my button shank and I'm going to go back in very near the same spot okay so I want to bring my thread nice and even and then I'm just going to tie multiple knots in that. And this button craft thread is so thick, there is no need to go round and round with this. But I'm going to tie three knots in the back side of this and leave all that length in there. So that's what that looks like and that just free floats there and we want that free floating because we're going to wrap that tie around it. So now unfortunately I am going to have to realign everything but I felt I needed to test fit that in order to place the button so you may find that you have to test fit your lining and then remove it to install the button. Okay, so I have my tie positioned along the back wall right at center, which is four inches. And then my button is securely attached at the base. My lining peeps over just a bit and I'm going to test fit everything. This little strap here will wrap around my button, which has lots of room for that. So I am ready to carefully position this up on the machine deck and stitch all the way around the perimeter of this sweet little clutch. I like to begin at the side seam. Okay, I have made it all the way around. It truly is the Decoville light on the interior, which is the secret sauce to this clutch. It has such a wonderful, substantial feel. And this absolutely feels like real leather as a result of that stable interior. I'm sure that there are additional ways to style this and I will play with those and take some photos and share those with you on the SoSpire Instagram and Facebook. Before we say goodbye, I want to give you some finished measurements on this piece. So height wise, we are coming in at eight and a half inches. Across the base, we have eight inches and the depth on this is about a half an inch. It really is a wonderful size for uh, quick trips out. You can definitely fit your phone in here, your keys, maybe some lip gloss. It'll be wonderful for the holidays. I think it makes a beautiful gift as well. So I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. The month of October at SoSpire is dedicated to clutches, so I will be back next Friday at 12 noon Eastern Time with another pretty clutch tutorial for you. So until then, as always, please know the creative genius in me will be celebrating the creative genius in you. I hope you all have a beautiful week and I'll see you next Friday.